Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to Fantastic Looks number 14 and we're going back into the uh, Palatopoly palette and so if you were watching my Sunday night live stream or if you watched the replay or whether you were there um, I did play the game and I showed everybody how to play the game and I came up with these results right here which is a uh, the larger lashes and the bright lippy and so this look right here is going to be um, from that night so I'm just gonna go in with um, the first color which is uh, scrunchy in the crease and it's this yellow shimmer right here it's really light so we get to lay that down in the crease so I'm just using a fluffy brush here it's kind of angled and we'll just see, I guess I put put some eyeshadow primer on. <laughs> I get in such a big hurry, I forget to do first things first. So anyway, I wanna make sure and do this. I wanna give this look a fair shot. So I haven't done my brows or anything. I do have primer on my face, skincare. And anyway, I haven't been out of the shower long, but I did comb my hair out and and I do have my skincare on, so we will do the eyes first and then go in with the face products afterwards. And I'll do my brows afterwards too. So anyway, I've got some interesting colors today. I got a couple of yellows, got a blue, got a purple, and I'm really excited about it. I've, this this little game is fun. I mean, it really is. Okay, so now let's let's go in. These shimmers are so buttery, and this one right here is beautiful. And it, but it's really light. So let me just. I don't think there's going to be much color laid down in the crease with this shade but it's going to provide some sparkle that's going to probably mix in to the other shades as we begin to you know blend it all together so i'm kind of excited to see how that's gonna you know all turn out so i've got quite a bit of real estate here in my crease I mean, I could go into just the lower crease, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to take it all the way. We're going to go all the way. We're going to get a little, not extreme, but we're definitely not going to be shy. I'm not going to be shy with the shadows today. So I'm going to do one eye on camera and one eye off. And we've got magnetic lashes again today. I really like that shimmer, y'all. That is pretty. Okay, now the second shade is for the outer corner, and it's called Boy Band. And it's this gorgeous navy blue. Woo! I love me some blue. So let's see here. I want to, it is a shimmer. So I'm going to try to contain it a little bit if I can. Anyway, I'm going to use this brush. It's kind of short, but it is still fluffy, and it's from BH Cosmetics. I use it a lot. So I'm just going to go into this shadow right here and see what blue and yellow give us maybe a green effect. We'll see. We'll see how this, anyway, I'm going to go all the way down to the lash line. And I'm just going to do this outer V. And just kind of swing it over with what's left on the brush. That's fun right there. And 
it's not really turning green, but it is mixing. So, so far we have on the eyes two shimmers. And I'm just going to pull that up. And I could go in another time with the navy. But I feel like that's dark enough. So, let's go in with a purple rain on the lid which is this gorgeous purple so here we go another shimmer and I'm going to use a packing brush on the lid let me find a good one this one right here I love this brush BH Cosmetics has really good brushes I really hope that Makeup Revolution will keep the website and put out some new products and and give us some new brushes too. I love their brushes. This is pretty. I love this color. I think blue and purple look good together. So I'm going to carry it on up into the lower part of the crease just to kind of fill in the blank there and create an illusion of a larger lid space. And let it come on over and meet that, that blue. Say hello blue. Hello blue. I would never put this combination together. And that's what makes this so much fun, y'all. Oh, but I love, I love that. I may go back into that blue after all. That's pretty. Okay, and then we have, it, it, the inner corner is Friends, which is this really bright, like, fuchsia color, which scares the bejeebies out of me. I'll be honest, it does. So, I'm going to go in with a light hand, and I'm just going to use a little bitty brush, because I'm scared. So, let's see what happens here. Right. It's very bright. Nothing like a purple eye look. Okay. So I'm trying to kind of blend it up a little bit. And I feel like I need some more of that purple shimmer, so I'm going to go back into that and just kind of get that to blend in with that purple shade a little better. Gorgeous! And now I'm going to go into that blue shade boy band and we're just gonna just go over this just a little bit this almost has like a denim or a metallic um, you know like a gunmetal kind of a gray in it really cool tone blue so the gold mixing with it is really quite unusual This is getting funny, y'all. Alright, and then for the lower lash line, the shade is As If, which is this yellow. Y'all know I do not like yellows too much at all. So, let me find another little brush. 
let me use this one and this is a mat so it should show up pretty easy let me start right here where the purple is coming around the corner oh my goodness y'all this is not pretty <laughs> this is not pretty we definitely need some mascara we need some mascara for this look I hope mascara will help pull this together all right now I'm just going to take that brush that I use the yellow shimmer and I'm just going to put a little bit on there and we're just going to go over everything and blend it all together and hopefully through the blending process this will look somewhat cohesive I would never put these colors together I just think it looks hideous y'all have to let me know what you think okay I am gonna go off camera I'm gonna do the other eye and put on some eyebrows and some mascara and then we'll come back and we'll do the lips and lashes together okay y'all I'm back and I went ahead and did the liner and the lashes off camera along with my brows and all my other face makeup and I did uh, use the liner on the waterline in my lower lash line I just felt like that with the mascara would kind of help uh, balance out that yellow and not make me look so sick <laughs> so anyway um, it's not half bad I don't like the yellow at all I'll be honest but the top part is it turned out pretty good so anyway I'm ready to go in now I've got the dramatic lashes on the magnetic lashes and now I'm ready to go in with this lip color and if you saw my last fantastic looks video I you know that I used this same color and so today I don't have any lip treatment on So I'm going to let it dry down matte today. And again, I'm taking my finger and pushing the product into the corners. I didn't use a lip liner because I didn't want to mess with the formula today. I just want to see how this would do so anyway I'm not trying to blot it out I'm just trying to smooth it out and get it to you know go all the way in the corners I feel like I need a lip brush this doe foot applicator and the moussey texture of the of the product doesn't really you know I don't want to make a great big mess and so I you know uh, I don't push it into the corners with the doe foot applicator so anyway it's just a beautiful bright pink it's almost like a barbie doll pink this lash is not wanting to stick you have to put the liner on uh kind of thick thicker than what i'm used to you know in order for the magnets to have plenty of space to uh, latch on So, and I'm not sure about that liner. The liner seems to line the eyes, you know, good enough, but I'm not sure about the, the grippy part of the magnet. Okay, so today the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation is what I used for my foundation. I have, um, I used the e.l.f. Camo Concealer with a little drop of oil to 
you know, help it not be so drying. I went in with the setting powder from e.l.f. I got this little thing here that I've been working on. And it's called Sheer. And then for the highlighter today, I used the uh, Wet n Wild highlighting powder. This is uh, a sil like a silver color. color. It's called uh, Diamond Lily. I think it's really pretty. Gives that kind of a white kind of a glow. I thought that would really play off well with the, the shimmer from the blue. And then for uh, bronzer and blush, I used the Complex Culture uh, palette. It's Power Player and Pink Slip. And I just need to set everything down and I'm pretty well done. So let me, whoops, I'm dropping stuff. Let me just go in with some MAC Fix Plus and hope that nothing runs. Let me just guard my eyes. I'm not sure how this liner is going to do. I'm not, never used setting spray with magnetic. I've got some new fans, y'all. <clears throat> I just forgot to bring them over here. So I'm going to have to do that. So one last time with the cardboard lid. <laughs> Next time you're going to see the fan, but that lipstick, y'all, is just too bright for me. This is, I like pinks, but this fuchsia hot pink, I don't, it's, I think it looks better on people with uh, dark hair. I need a, like a warmer type pink. But that highlighter is beaming. I really like the highlighter. Wet n Wild knows how to make some highlighters, y'all. So anyway, for brows, I never did talk about my brows. My brows, um, had, I found this pencil in my collection. It's got the pencil on one end and then the brush on the other end. And I'm not sure who makes it. It could be Avon. It could be Wet n Wild. I'm not sure. Anyway, I enjoy it. I'm using it. It's a good color and I'm happy with the brows today so anyway that is the look so what do y'all think what do y'all think about blue and purple together that's pretty I think and I love the shimmer the way the shimmer does and but that that yellow underneath the lash line I think is hideous especially with the purple in the inner corner it's almost kind of scary looking but anyway, that's what the cards gave me, so I made the best of it, and I think next time I do this, I'm going to use it in, um, in a collab and let my friend pick my shades for me, because I've done two fantastic looks with this so far, and that's... And then the unboxing. So that's three videos all together. So anyway, I'm done with that for now. And then the next time I'll use it, I'll, it'll, it, I won't use the cards. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that's it for me today, you guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your day is going. Let me know what's up in makeup and skincare with you. All right. And I will see you in the next video. God bless you today is my prayer. See you next time. Bye.